But the Chinese food here is terrible. Salzwan Kitchen, please hold. We're making chicken lo mein. For stir fries, you need to be constantly stirring, so it's really important to get all your ingredients prepared before you start to cook. Let's cut the ends off three carrots and peel off the outer layers. Next, we're gonna take the roots off five green onions and peel two medium-sized yellow onions. All that stuff can go in your freezer for soup stock or just throw it in the trash if you don't wanna do that. Shred your carrots using a vegetable peeler. This is gonna seem like too many carrots, it's not. The next thing we're going to do is slice each onion four times and then cut those pieces in half. Chop up your green onions and put that all in a pile. That's going to be pile one. Next, remove the stem from Napa cabbage and chop up the bottom half. You want the thick pieces. We can save the leafy pieces for chow mein. Next, add some bean sprouts to pile two, fresh or canned, does not matter. And finally, some mushrooms. I have these straw mushrooms that I got in the Asian section, but if you can't find those, just use white caps. That's fine. Next, cut three chicken thighs into strips, then stir together one cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of oyster sauce, and one teaspoon of ginger. Finally, have one pound of slightly undercooked, unrinsed spaghetti ready to go. Heat one third of a cup of peanut oil and start with two tablespoons of minced garlic and all the veggies in your first pile. Peanut oil can take high heat, but make sure you're constantly stirring. Once those veggies start to brown, you're going to add in your chicken and cook that until it changes color on the outside. Let's talk some tips while this is cooking. If you can find thick cut spaghetti somewhere, that's great. Regular spaghetti is fine. That's what I'm going to use in this video. But don't go for the thin spaghetti. It will fall apart in the pan. Once the chicken is no longer pink on the outside, we're going to add in all our veggies from pile two, including the mushrooms. If you can't find Napa cabbage, just use regular cabbage. It's not gonna be as crunchy, but it's fine. These are all the veggies that go in lo mein. It doesn't get broccoli, it doesn't get bell peppers. And if someone tells you it gets water chestnuts, it's because they're misidentifying the cabbage. At this point, add in your sauce mixture. Make sure you didn't skip the oyster sauce. It may not be a lot, but it packs a huge punch. Now we're gonna add in our spaghetti. Make sure it's slightly undercooked and unrinsed. If you normally cook spaghetti 10 minutes, cook it eight minutes. We're gonna keep cooking two or three more minutes to finish cooking the pasta and boil down the sauce. We're almost done, but it wouldn't be authentic without some MSG. Sprinkle that on top. It's a flavor enhancer. You can find it in the spice aisle of most supermarkets. Plate this out with a pasta server. Try to leave any excess sauce in the pan. Finally, let's garnish with some chow mein noodles. You can find out how to do those in a short video on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Salmonella. And if you want to buy your very own Salmonella cooking apron, a self-portrait I did for my comedy channel, Reviews in Oz, check the link in the description.